guys, welcome to the Tesla Model S P90D. So this is the flagship, top of the range model and the quickest model. Um, we'll be putting together our usual performance video and full review of this car soon so you can see the, the 0 to 100 acceleration, it's incredible acceleration. Um, but for now I thought I'd just show you the autopilot feature. Autopilot is a part of a, uh, a system update or a software update that Tesla rolled out um, a few weeks ago, 7.0 it's called. Um, and what it is, is basically a, a more advanced version of cruise control or even a more advanced version of adaptive cruise control. Um, so right now I've got it in just normal adaptive cruise control. So it's, it's set at 110 kilometers an hour um, and it will read the, the traffic in front. Um, you can also set the distance, oops, wrong button. And you can set it so it's, you know, there's a, there's a big gap or a small gap, depending on how you like to drive. But where this car goes further is with uh, automatic steering as well. So not just braking and acceleration. So my feet aren't on the pedals at the moment, um, but you can also have automatic steering. To activate the system, firstly, you just have to have these, uh, make sure these two lights are uh, illuminated. Um, one, the one on the left is just saying that, yep, the cruise control is ready to go. And the one on the right is just showing that the steering is ready to, uh, to take over. And then it's just a matter of tapping this cruise control stalk on the left here just twice and that's it so it's saying always keep your hands on the wheel be prepared to take over any time um, but as you can see I've got my hands completely off the wheel uh, Tesla doesn't recommend that you do this um, it's only meant to uh, guide you along the road it's not meant for uh, yeah completely taking your hands off the wheel but it's it's interesting to see that technology can actually fully take over the car um, we're in fairly heavy sort of freeway traffic at the moment so it's picking up uh, all the different cars and things around it um, also keeping that safe distance that I've set uh, for the adaptive cruise control so we're down to a, a, a pretty slow speed now even though it's I've got the cruise control set at a hundred um, it's still working just as just as usual even with traffic around But it's interesting interesting to see that it's, that car in front is actually right very close to the line and the even just the little graphic display is showing that that car is is right against the line We're slowing down a little bit now, but I haven't touched the steering wheel yet It's constantly keeping it in the middle of the lane. So it's noticed that car's just gone out of my lane, so it can speed up to the speed that I've set it at. It's surreal as well because this is not what we're used to you know it's we, when we get in a car we drive the car um, it's going to take a while for everybody just to get used to putting faith putting trust in the car's sensors and cameras and so on but so far it's been yeah it hasn't had a hiccup at all um, it has told me to take over on one occasion when it was got a bit, quite a bit complicated but also it was probably because I didn't have my hands on the wheel for a minute or something um, and it said to take over but again it's not meant to be for uh, just you know getting the paper out and starting to read it's just meant to uh, assist you driving and provide safety as well because sometimes a car might pull out and a human the human can't react as, qu as quick as a computer can most of the time so this will actually break the car before a human gets a chance to hit the to move their foot and put it onto the pedal so it's just picking up that ute there that's quite close got some stuff happening up here if someone darts in front of me it's going to um, hit the brakes hopefully but yeah I still haven't touched the uh, steering wheel yet as well um, so 
it seems to be varied. At first I thought it was uh, a set at a, a two minutes where you have to touch the steering wheel every two minutes. Um, but now I'm starting to think that it's got to do with the road conditions. And if it can read the line, if the line becomes a slight bit faint, um, it, it might tell you to touch the steering wheel more often. But so far it's definitely been about two minutes or over two minutes. And I haven't um, touched the steering wheel at all. So, incredible stuff. As usual, we'll be putting together our full review on performancedrive.com.au soon and we'll include our performance video so you can see the, uh, the mind-blowing acceleration in, in ludicrous mode. Thanks for watching.